Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on label image. So label image is actually a graphical image annotation tool. It is useful for us for those who are doing object detection using a tensor TensorFlow. So basically what you can do with label image is that you can annotate the object that you are trying to detect. So basically when you are doing a object detection, you will need to train your model. So you need to you need to split your data set into training and testing data set. Regardless of whether they are training or testing data set, you will need to annotate the images such that your model will know what to look up for and train and test the model accordingly. With label image, it actually make it more convenient for users like us who are trying to annotate images. So to start off, um, you will need to download the label image, click on the code, and then download the zip file. Next, depending on whether you want to use a virtual environment and whether you have Anaconda. So for me, I have both, I'm using window and I have Anaconda. So I will be following these steps. So I highly recommend that you download Anaconda for this tutorial if you are following along. Go search for anaconda prompt so i will be creating a virtual environment for this tutorial it is okay if you choose not to uh, create a virtual environment but i will rec recommend creating a virtual environment for this tutorial so if you want to learn more about creating a virtual environment you can go to my tutorial to find out more about it i will leave the link in the description down below to create a virtual environment, I will go Conda create n. So I will give a name for my virtual environment. So I will name my virtual environment um, label image underscore tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. And I will be using Python 3.6. So I will key in Python equals 3.6. So you will ask you whether you want to proceed. So I can Y, which is yes. So this is going to take a while. So once done, I would like to activate my virtual environment that I have created. So you will go to Conda activate label image underscore tutorial as written down here. So I will just copy this and paste it here and enter. So once your virtual environment is activated, you will see that the bracket on the left hand side is the name of your virtual environment. So for my case, my virtual environment is label image underscore tutorial. So once done, I will need to install some of the libraries. So firstly, I will go through them line by line. I will copy this line and uh, I will paste it here. So and so this. So I will also need to press Y, which is yes. So once this is done, I would like to go to the main page and I would, so I did this first for this tutorial, but uh, I will extract the zip file that I download early on and I'll extract here. So let me bring this here. So I will also create another um, text file and uh, because in this tutorial, I will be annotating cats. And so the classes or the class will be cats, cat, so depending on your number of classes that you want to annotate, you may choose to increase the number of classes. So for example, if I also um, am looking at dog, I will, I will go to the next line and type in dog, maybe a person or a bike. So, but for this tutorial, you will be just cat. So next, I will open up the, the, the extracted file from label image master. I will copy this, the path or the directory, and uh, I will put it back in this uh, Anaconda prompt. So I will click CD and paste the path or directory on, and I will paste the directory here and click enter. So um, once you click enter, you should see the directory here. And so next, you will do, what you will do next is uh, you will copy this line of code, copy, and then you will paste it here and enter. So once done, you will need to pip install the last uh, library. So it's pip install 
L, X, M, L. So this is going to take a while. So once done, so to make it easier, you, go, you will go and copy this, paste it here. So you need to change your image path. So my image path is uh, basically the part, the place where I save my folder, where the image images are stored in. So, so my image path refer to the images that I'm going to annotate. And so the folder that is, it is stored in is in uh, this image folder. So I click this, copy, and then uh, go back here, and I will paste it in here. So next, you need to uh, paste your predefined class file here. So my predefined class cloud is uh, this one. Similarly, you go to, so basically it's stored in the same place. So I copy this and I paste it here. I paste it here and remove this. Uh, so the file name is class, class, and it is actually a text file. So dot txt. So I'll enter. So a window should pop up and uh, so this is what I'm seeing right now. So another thing I would recommend is you go to view and make sure your yeah, auto save mode is uh, on. And yeah, so now you can go and uh, start to annotate your images. So you go to create red box and your cursor will change if you click on the create red box and um, you'll create a bounding box around the object that you are trying to annotate. So for me, I'm trying to annotate a cat. So I will, I will click on it and I will drag it across the image. So this thing will pop up or this window will pop up and it will contain all the names of the classes that you are trying to annotate. So for this, it's cat. So I will click on cat and press OK. So next, I will go to the next file. So I'll click on next image. And this is another picture of a cat. Similarly, I will draw a bounding box around the cat. So I will draw. So similarly, this will also pop up. So it's cat. So I click on cat. So let's see, I want to uh, edit. So if you draw your boxes wrongly, you can go to edit red box and change and move around the box. Yeah. So once done, click next image. So there's actually some, uh, I would say, useful shortcut keys that can drastically improve your efficiency. So it will be W, A, and D on your keyboard. By pressing W, it will automatically help you to click on the Create Rack Box button. And then you can drag your mouse across the image that you would like to annotate. And then you can click OK, or you can press Enter. So the next useful hotkey I would say is A and D. So A will go back to your previous image while D will go to your next image. So now you want to annotate this image again, go to W and drag your mouse across the image. Pull this up and you can press OK or press Enter. So once done, you will go to the next image by pressing D and click on this, drag it, and press enter. Oh, another thing to take note is depending on you whether you are using a uh, YOLO or you are using uh, the normal TensorFlow, if you are using YOLO, you will need to change the save format to YOLO. If not, you can change it to Pascal VOC. And so once you have save, as you can see, I didn't click on the save button. It's because I have uh, previously Turn on the auto save mode. So once you annotate all the objects or all the objects that you want to annotate, there will be a LXML file created. So let's take a look at the LXML file. So I will right click, edit with Notepad++. You will contain a few items. So you contain the name of your class. So make sure this is correct. And then you will also have the location of your bounding boxes and the size of the image that's about it so this is the end of my tutorial so if you have any questions feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below if not thank you for watching and see you next time